Virgil Abloh and Ikea. A collaboration I've been looking forward to for so, so long. Uh, literally, I made a video on this a long time ago, as soon as it was announced, saying how excited I am. They previewed so much stuff, like Virgil and Ikea both previewed so much stuff. But they showed us loads and loads of different things that they created together, and we was all really, really excited about it. Um, if you didn't know already, Virgil Abloh and Ikea have released their collection, their collaboration, Markerad it was called, um, a few weeks ago. Yeah, okay, I'm late. Uh, I've been on holiday, your boy's been, your boy's been on holiday, your boy's been working hard. Um, so yeah, I finally got this video out just to talk about it because I was disappointed, man. I was so, I was so disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you had to get tickets to the, to the Ikea, so they released tickets on Eventbrite, um, you get your ticket, they're free, so you don't have to pay for it, but you get your ticket. Oh my gosh, I, I was I was queuing for a long time. There were three separate queues. Like, outside the queue weren't that bad. To be honest, the, all the queues weren't that bad. They just took a year. Like, they took a year <laughs> to get through to even see what they had. Now, I remember reading about this Ikea and Virgil collaboration, and I read that they together wanting to bring something that people can get they wanted to bring stuff that like it ain't gonna be limited because they want people to have it it's aimed for students this is another thing another big marketing campaign that they put onto it they want it to be for students um they wanted it to be in like new houses and stuff like that everything they said i agree with everything they said don't make it too limited because you want people to have it like and appreciate it because it's not really things that you you, to, for me personally, it's not really things you want to be reselling. I mean, I don't want to be reselling a, a giant rug. You know what I mean? I, I know people do, of course, but it, it just ain't my cup of tea. Like, if I'm going to buy something like that, I, I want something like that. Yeah, everything they said was false. <laughs> so I went on the second day. I went, So it was open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I went on a Saturday. There was no Mona Lisa. There was no clock. I wanted the clock. I wanted the damn clock, man. <laughs> I wanted the clock. It wasn't even a clock. <laughs> it wasn't even a clock. It was just a a plain, like, it was meant to be a clock, but it was just a plain, you know, clock. Let's just call it. It was just a plain clock, but it had no numbers on it, but it had, like, the hands, and it's just a temporary. But the reason I like it is because time is temporary. Like, that, that it, that's a really good idea. And it sold out, so I was very, very annoyed. Um, the Mona Lisa sold out, I didn't see the mirror, and that's pretty much what was there. <laughs> so as I was saying, they promised all these things. So we already know that it was limited, so it wasn't set for everyone to be able to get. Not only was that wrong, they wanted it to be affordable for students. Now, we all know students don't have the biggest budget, they don't have the best budget, they don't have a lot of money, you know, they're students, man, they're gonna be in debt, they're gonna be working part-time, if that, like, even that's a struggle for a student, like. So, they're selling rugs for 200 pound. They're selling the mirrors for like 150 pound or whatever it was. The clock was 50 pounds. You know, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. Like the, the, the cabinet, the shoe cabinet was, it's hundreds of pounds. You think, man, if you're really gonna stick to your word about this is for students, it ain't for students. Or it's gonna be for students with a very good job. A very good job. Um, yeah, I just believe that's false. I believe that's false. I don't believe it was made for people like that. Well, I mean, it, it probably was made for them, but in reality, if I'm a student, I don't have the biggest budget, I don't want to be spending 200 pounds on a rug. Man, I know the rug's nice, but I don't want to be spending that much money, man. Not, not, on, not on stuff that, not, not on hype, man. You're, you're only losing, man. You're only losing. Um, yeah, the prices were mad, but not all the prices were mad. I'm not gonna lie. The pieces that I did buy, were decent prices. They're decent prices because I didn't want to spend too much money. So I managed to buy the toolbox. <laughs> you know, this is going to be the weirdest video I've probably ever done. Usually about clothes and sneakers, I'm doing about toolboxes and bags. <laughs> so I did pick up the toolbox. There is common sense in my purchase. <laughs> um, yeah, of course I bought it because it's Virgil, but I didn't just buy it because it's Virgil, I bought it because it's a toolbox, you know? I'm going to want to be moving out. Um, Next year or so, I want to get my own house. I'm going to be buying IKEA furniture because it's cheap, it's easy. And these are the perfect tools. It was like 12 quid, man. It was like 12 quid. So yeah, these are the perfect tools for your furniture. So it is just a red box. It's got homework written on the front in the Virgil Abloh style. And that is the only Virgil Abloh touch because uh, obviously 
they're just tools and the tools are just literally IKEA. Um, so yeah, for 12 quid, that's actually not a bad buy. You know, if, if you're gonna be smart about buying hype stuff, you gotta be smart about it, man. I'm gonna use this shit. What else did I buy? I had to buy the iconic on every single Instagram post. The sculpture bag. This was like 12 pounds, so it's not actually too bad. I do have ideas for it. So before anyone says, oh, you just bought a bag for the hype. Yeah, 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 we're all there for the hype. We're all there for the hype. But also I actually have a good idea about what I want to do to it because I'm not going to use it as a bag, obviously. Um, yeah, I've got ideas of what I'm going to do for it. And it's going to be a good decoration for when I do move out. But this is a cool bag. I'm not going to lie, it's a cool bag. And the whole sculpture on the top and it's got the IKEA handles. It is a cool bag. I'm not going to lie. And for another £12, it's, it's not too expensive. It's not too expensive compared to the other pieces that they had. This bag does kind of spin me out a little bit. Um, it's like dry, like thick, been wet and dried cardboard, if that makes sense. I really don't know how to explain it. I don't know the right words. Yeah, it's like thick, bin wet and dried cardboard. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna last that long. I, I have no idea. It does feel quite sturdy. I hope it does last quite long because of what I wanna do with it. But yeah, it's just a really, really cool piece. Um, it's not too big. You could have got a bigger bag. This is the small one for 12 pounds. So I didn't think that was a bad, a bad buy at all. So I did completely forget to do the video before I opened my bed in and put it on my bed. Uh, <laughs> so I did buy the bed in, I did buy the bed in, and the bed in isn't actually anything special. This is Virgil Abloh, this is Virgil, you know? This is like, he, the man's got the hype for a reason, he's where he is for a reason, head designer of Louis Vuitton, um, head designer of Off-White, I mean, I'm not a massive fan of Off-White clothing, but the shoes are sick. Um, yeah, so you would have you would have expected something absolutely crazy. I don't think anything in this whole collection was crazy. The bedding was plain boring. I'm not gonna lie. It was just grey bedding with an orange IKEA Virgil, just the, the normal stamp of off white or Virgil Abloh onto the item. So the bedding as well in England in London, um, that they, they had uh, bedding and pillowcases. I, I wish I bought the pillowcases. I'm not gonna lie. The bedding was £25, the pillowcases were £10, the pillowcases definitely weren't for a bed, that's for sure. Because they were like, I just wouldn't want to lay my head onto that while I sleep. I, just, I don't know, it should be really uncomfortable, I think. Um, but the bedding itself isn't too bad, it's not too bad. But for £25, that's actually not a bad price. What is bad about it, though, <laughs> is that either Virgil or Ikea think that their target market, the students, the young generation, all have single beds. I don't even think like they do they this is it. I don't know what freaking size it is. It was one size and it definitely don't fit a double. Because your boys only got a double. I'm, I'm, I'm not like I haven't got the biggest bed in the world and uh, it only just just fits my bed and it's and that's a double sheet. And I, even then it you know it, it don't fit. It don't fit and they only have one size. What the fuck is that about? That's weird. That's really weird, but yeah, it worked because we all bought it anyway. <laughs> I just wanted to see if it fit, to be honest. Luckily, it does fit just uh, just right. And obviously, when I do move out, I'm gonna have a spare room and it'll be like, yeah, yeah. I've all got plans for this. There's all methods to my madness. So I bought the toolbox, the bag, and the bed in because everything else wasn't that great. The wet grass rug, I was very, very excited about. When I saw it in person, yeah, it looked sick. It didn't feel like a 200 pound rug. I bought a better feeling rug on sale for cheaper. And it's like, yeah, okay. Obviously you're gonna mark up the price um, because of who, who's designing it, but come on, man. Like, yeah, your, your target market isn't, I don't know, I don't know. I, I mean, I know a lot of people bought it. But for me personally, it wasn't, it wasn't a 200 pound rug. I'm not gonna lie. So they did also have a receipt rug now bun that, bun that. I didn't, I didn't really like that. I didn't really, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really like that. It weren't actually that nice. And to be honest, it didn't feel the best quality at all. They had the shoe cabinet again. Come on, like it's Ikea, man. You don't have to be putting these prices on. Man. There was nothing special about it. There was nothing like Virgil or Stamp. There was nothing that stood out to me that was like, you walk into a house, that, I know like that's different. It, it wasn't different. It wasn't different at all. Um, they also had the coffee table, which I didn't see anyone buy because, again, it just looks like a normal coffee table. There's nothing on it. There's nothing on it. There isn't, it was like, Virgil is this creator. I didn't see any creation. 
There's some pieces I did, but like the main pieces, like the furniture, I didn't see. But that's pretty much all that was there. It was a tiny space in London IKEA. I was very disappointed. I was expecting a lot. I was expecting a lot. But yeah, it looks as if USA got different pieces to, than Europe or London, and we all got a little bit of different pieces. Just disappointed with the, the lack of uh, release, to be honest. And I'm guessing, I'm hoping, there's gonna be more releases to bring out the extra little bit that we didn't get. Um, I'm guessing there's loads of stuff that IKEA and Virgil has made because it really took them that long to create what they did. Kind of a bit lackluster, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. But I enjoyed the day out, I enjoyed the collaboration, and it's really good to see someone like Virgil Abloh collaborating with a company like IKEA and they're bringing it to the world. Don't get me wrong, it ain't all bad. <laughs> your boy's still bald, so it ain't that bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, I wanna know your opinion. Whether you did make it to the Virgil Abloh and Ikea collaboration event, did you make it? Comment down below. What do you think of the items? What did you pick up, if you did pick up any? Were you a bit disappointed? Just what do you think about the collection that they've released? Guys, I wanna know in the comments down below. My Instagram and my Twitter is in the description. Give me a follow, hit the thumbs up button for me if you did like the video. I can't stress this enough, subscribe to me for more videos, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, yeah, I need that count up, I'm not gonna lie. But guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.